Hey guys, Dave Sweet from Sweetcraft Woodworking. I'm going to show you really quick how to change the blades on a DeWalt 735X. Okay, so all these DeWalts have a hex head screwdriver already with it, so go ahead and take off all four of these screws. The nice thing about these screws is they stay and they don't come out, so you don't have to worry about losing them. Take those off really quick. Remember, there's four of them. And you want to remove the cover. After you open it up, you'll see these three red knobs. Go ahead and remove those also. Uh, these knobs hold down the cover for the blade, just so the blades aren't exposed, kind of protects from dust and any other elements that might go into the blades. Take those off. They even have a little compartment here to put all your stuff in, which is really nice when you're working on stuff. After you got all three of the knobs taken off, go ahead and remove the cover. Okay. And after you remove the cover, you'll see the blades are exposed. So you're going to take your same hex head screwdriver and you're going to take out all these screws one by one. Now you can get a hex head for your drill and take these out much faster, but when it comes to messing with screws like this, I really like to use the actual screwdriver. Uh, you know, when you start adding, I don't know, battery powered equipment to putting in screws, you tend to strip them out here and there. And this is something I don't want to take the chance on because I really don't feel like buying a new cutter head for this. So take the time, do right. All right, after you get your last one out, the back of the hex head, you'll see these little magnets. You can use those magnets, pick up the top cover, covers the blades, and then use the same one to pick up your blade. That one's really stuck in there, isn't it? There you go. Take that one out. Now to move the cutter head, there's a little latch right here. Go ahead and push down on the latch. And that allows you to turn the cutter head. And then go to the other side and repeat the same exact process. All right, now that you got all three blades off, uh, let's take this opportunity to go ahead and clean everything out as good as we can. You know, just stop the buildup from happening. <laughs> All right, so I got most of the gunk out. Let's go ahead and take a paper towel, put a little bit of water on it, whatever you want. Just give it a little wipe down. Get down what you can see. The more the better. And you can spend as much time as you want on this. Um, I'm not gonna go too crazy on the cleanup. Everything looks pretty good. So the next step, you want to get your blades. Now, uh, these have three blades and the blades are double sided. So take your blade out very carefully. These are very sharp. And you want to take the same hex head wrench that you have with the magnet. Go ahead and place it on. Now you'll see these little tabs right here, okay? These little tabs line up with these holes, okay? They also have these inserts that pop up that will fit inside of these tabs. So as long as you have those lined up inside of the tabs, you're okay. And they fit right nice and snug in there. You can see there's a little play just to adjust them, but there's no play left and right, which is good. So go ahead and put that in there. Take the top bracket, same thing, just wipe it down really quick, get whatever's on it off. Okay. It's gonna face in just like this. And same thing, you'll see these little knobs right here that are poked up. 
Those will fit right over the ones that are popped up below. So same thing. Put it on. And it lines right up. Simple as that. Put in each screw, uh, not fully tight, but just put them in a little bit. I like to start off by hand. This isn't something you want to strip out. So use your fingers, you know, make sure they're going in right. You don't want to cross thread them. Put them all in one by one, just a little bit. Put them all in there. The reason why I don't put these in all the way is because if you tighten this one down first, all the way, by the time you get here, the hole might be off and then you gotta go back and loosen them all. So do it right the first time. All right, now that I got them all in the hole, I can go ahead and tighten them all up. Now, I don't know if this is something you have to do, but I don't like to tighten them up, you know, straight down there. I like to skip every other one. and then go back and tighten up the other ones. It's kind of like tightening up the bolts on a wheel on a car. You know, you don't want to tighten up all the bolts clockwise. You know, you want to go, you want to cross-reference all the bolts. Okay. All right. Got them all fastened in, go back through, give them all one last little squeeze just in case. Mind you, while you're tightening over here, and by the time you get down here, these ones might loosen up a little bit because there's more pressure. So always go back and check and give them one nice little last turn. All right, and then repeat the process for the next two blades and you're good to go. So this is fairly simple and I hope this helped. All right, guys, well, there it is. You know, nothing to it, pretty basic. Uh, you know, if you guys liked what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below. All right, guys, take care.